Okay, this is part three of my Marvel review, and I want to go into the series of 2099. Right, as you know, if you're a Marvel fan, Marvel had unleashed a fuck ton of comics for the 2099. All right, so they didn't really catch a lot. All right, they couldn't really um, suck in a lot of the audiences. And 2099 is kind of like the era of where my Guardians of the Galaxy is supposed to be taking place because they're actually like 30 something or 26 something they're deep deep in the future where humans no longer live on Earth and it's mostly because they can't live on Earth only like humans live on Earth are the anomalies which are normal mutants the regular mutants or the regular humans rather not the anomalies the, if you're a mutant you couldn't live on Earth because of whatever happened to the atmosphere so all the humans had to leave Earth Alright, kind of like if you're reading um, the X-Men versus the Inhumans, it was kind of like that shit. So if you were a mutant, the Terrigen mis killed mutants. I never understood how the hell that worked because technically the Inhumans are still mutants. Yeah, you know, don't try to logicalize it. But by the time you get to Guardians of the Galaxy with Vance Astro, all that shit has come to pass. Vance Astro was frozen in a block of ice, and we're done with that. Now, for 2099, I'm going to talk about five or seven comics with the title 2099. And I'm only going to talk about the ones that I fucking read and didn't get all of them. Alright? So as an X-Men fan, when X-Men 2099 first came out, I can't tell you now. One member of that team, except for the leader, she was Chinese. I liked her. She was my favorite. They didn't get, what, like, maybe one action figure. I don't know why they did that, but they only got one action figure, and he was, like, the fast guy. So the comic was great. If you liked X-Men... They had a guy in there who was like Angel, but he looked more like um, Sauron, not in the face. He had a human face. He looked more like a demon with demon wings instead of feathers like Angel. He, I liked him too. And I liked the fast guy. Those were the three people that I liked. The fast guy basically had an outfit like Gambit. Now, I can't remember his name, but if you want a, a good read and if you're an X-Men fan, 2099 is okay. They were still fighting for the dream of Charles Xavier where mankind and mutant kind could live amongst each other in peace. It was kind of uh, different. It was not my X-Men, but because it was X-Men and because I liked the leader and the way the story was going for the first three comics that I got, I enjoyed it. I didn't get the rest of them because either it got canceled or I missed them when they went on sale and I couldn't find them. So that's a check on what I need to find, the X-Men 2099. So we're going to move on. Alright, we're going to move on to the second title that I thoroughly enjoyed. I only got one of the comics because apparently it was selling, but it wasn't getting a good following, and that was Spider-Man 2099. In Spider-Man 2099, there were mutants, they were on Earth, but Spider-Man was not a mutant. Spider-Man was a Spider-Man, and he had um, gene splicing, because 2099 Spider-Man was mostly gene splicing. He wasn't a mutant. His name was Miguel O'Hara. He um, had better powers than Spider-Man. You know, he could still climb walls and he couldn't make his own webs, but his suit was awesome as hell. So he could do all kinds of other things and he could glide and shit that Peter Parker could do, but not as good as Miguel O'Hara. And it was a pretty good read. You know, if you needed something to read and you were just bored out of your mind, Spider-Man 2099 would hold you over. If you're a Spider-Man fan, you will definitely love Spider-Man 2099. As a Spider-Man fan, I actually liked Miguel O'Hara a lot better than that whole clone clusterfuck thing that Peter Parker and them was going through. And it was so far off the beaten path, it was like nowhere, he wasn't a photographer, I forgot what the hell he did for a living. He wasn't a dishwasher, but he wasn't a photographer. He had a fairly decent job. He still had problems. He wasn't an alcoholic or anything, but he had problems that you can relate to. They kept it with traditional form, but it wasn't like Spider-Man nor, and it wasn't like traditional Spider-Man. It was in the future, cars could fly, seeing somebody with a horse head or a unicorn or whatever wasn't unheard of by then. So 2099 Spider-Man was a good read. Now, I will say I didn't like Punisher 2099. I really didn't like it. I glanced at the book, and then I put it back on the shelf. I didn't like Hawk 2099. I glanced at the book, I put it back on the shelf. I loved Daredevil 2099. Now, I can't remember if Daredevil was still Matthew Michael Murdock. I can't remember that. 
But from what I read, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and yes, Daredevil again was why. Still the man without fear, 2099, just like Miguel O'Hara, this suit was fucking awesome. And unfortunately, I can't remember what the fuck the guy's career was or his name. I'm not sure if it was Matthew Michael Murdock who had been frozen and born into the future, or if it was a uh, different timeline, because Marvel will, will fuck you up if you're not careful. If you don't read that, that top yellow billing... Hello, true believers, Stan Lee presents. If you don't read that, you're not going to know shit. So every time you pick up a Marvel book at the beginning with those bylines and the little square blocks to let you know what's going on before you get too deep in there, you should probably read that shit. I didn't do that for Daredevil 2099. I just love Daredevil. I love Spider-Man. I love X-Men. So when the 2099s came out, I had to see them. Punisher 2099, uh, I know it wasn't Frank Castle because Frank Castle was a human being. He was a normal human being. He wasn't, like, hit by a radioactive goop like Daredevil who could read with his two fingers and be blind and have radar sight. He wasn't like that. He wasn't like Spider-Man. He wasn't hit by a radioactive spider. So I have no idea who the fuck Punisher 2099 was. And I'm going to have to call you back. Well, I'm going to have to make this video a part two to part three.